I am the Five Minute Professor, and today's lesson is on the bow tie. The tie in general dates back to Prussian conflicts of the 1600s. A relative peace along the Adriatic allowed for Croatian mercenaries to fight against smaller princedoms in Prussia. Now, the Croatians at the time had their field uniform sh shirts, excuse me, closed with silk scarfs that they tied in the front and then tucked into their shirt. Now, that's where the tie begins. The name cravat for this form of a tie is from the French for Croat or Croatian. The tie a lot evolved along two different lines. Longer ties that resembled the functional Croatian shirt fasteners, but with fancier patterns and elaborate knots, and then shorter ties, which use the exact same knot as a shoelace. Now, your tie needs to be properly sized for your neck, because when you tie the tie, you want the ends to match up. That makes a square-looking tie. Well, in order to do that, it needs to be set so it's the right size for your neck. Now, you can buy a tie, which is just size, like you can buy pants, size 36 waist, where you can t buy a tie, which is a 15 and a half inch or a 16 inch neck. Or you can buy an adjustable. In a minute, I'm going to take off this tie and show you how to tie a tie. But um, I'm going to show you where the setting is inside this shirt in just a minute. I wear thicker, natural materials. That's what I wear, uh, with a backing that allows for the neck to be adjusted. Nicer silk ties require you buying exactly the right length tie. And bow ties can be varied by color and style. I like this, which is a flared end tie. Uh, there are also more rounded thistle ends and squarer, what are called bat wing ties. Now, bow ties are quite the height of fashion during the 19th century in the United States. President Madison was the first to sport a tied bow tie in his official portrait. Before that, there were longer silk cravats that were intricately wrapped around the head and the neck. Uh, and then tucked in underneath the shirt. John Quincy Adams and Martin Van Buren were also bow tie wearers, as well as every president from William Henry Harrison until Chester A. Arthur. The last president to wear a bow tie in his official portrait was William McKinley, but he's dead now, so maybe we should stop that. Uh, there are quite a few photos of presidents wearing bow ties, as in a black tie event. President Obama has avoided wearing a red bow tie, at least in part because over the last five decades, red bow ties have been closely associated with Louis Farrakhan's Nation of Islam. Nation of Islam folklore suggests that the bow tie is worn because a minister was once lynched by his longer necktie. The shorter ends are why pediatricians prefer the bow tie over a necktie. It's less likely to be tugged on by small children. I would say it's easier to keep clean at a party where you might be eating or drinking, but then then your shirt gets dirty. So what the hell's the point in that? Uh, the 11th actor to play Doctor Who, Matt Smith, he reported, bow ties are cool. He also thought fezes were cool, so we don't know. You may also look smarter. Dr. Mallard of NCIS and Bill Nye the Science Guy also wear bow ties. Perceptum, quispium, damnetium. Learn something, damn it. Coming up in the next video, I'll show you how to tie a bow tie.